Hey guys, it's Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're learning all the chords to Melissa by the Allman Brothers Band. So there's some really nice stuff here. Um, kind of unique chord forms and a lot of drone strings. So we're all in standard tuning here, so no big deal. Standard tuning. And we just basically have about three different sections to, to take a look at. We're going to start here with an E major chord, standard E major. Now these first chords I'm going to show you kind of the main riff of the song they keep going back to. It's also the intro of the song, um, and it's pretty much half of the verse. I would call it. So we have the E major. Now we're going to continue to strum all six strings, but the only notes we're holding down are the fourth fret on the A string, uh, fourth fret on the D string, and then second fret on the G. So we have... So while you play those, you're going to strum all the open strings with it. All right, now take that up two frets. And then back down to the previous one. So that's the intro. Starts with the E. All right, then the vocals come in. Um, you know, this is actually a really nice sounding chords here. So we're gonna, um, the actual whole verse here, we're gonna go through those same chords. And when we start over, it will be the E. And then that same second chord. And then we're going to take it over to this A chord. So we're just going to play an A major chord. You're going to bar the second fret on the B, G, and the D string. Along with that open A. And against that, we're... With this open A, we're going to have... Basically, it looks like an A minor chord here, right? So we're going to take that and move it up two frets to a B minor. And then you have the open A with it in the bass. Then move it up two more frets. And then back to the previous chord. So the chord changers are twice as fast now. Just two beats each. And then back to the previous chords, but also play just two beats each. So from there we go to this, it's a C major 7 chord with a G in the bass. So we're basically going to play 3rd fret on the low E string, 3rd fret on the A, and then 2nd fret on the D string, all the other strings open. And then you're going to end that with just a B, B major chord, you can hold that whatever way you want. It's got a bar across the 4th fret on the B, G, and the D. And then obviously the second fret here on the A string. So that whole part. So now we have a, kind of a bridge section of the song, so let me play through that real quick. So that's just an E major, to a D major, to an A major, and a B major. 
Now from the, after this first four chords, E, D, A, B, you go up to a C sharp minor chord. Minor bar chord here, up at the fourth fret. Then to the A, back to the B, and it's gonna end on that, it goes back to that main riff. That's also the riff that, that kind of ends the song. Now, uh, there's one other part that, you know, I want to bring to your attention. It happens at the, like, if you listen to it on Spotify, it's a 2 minute and 43 second mark. It's basically to just kind of shorten a section real quick, and it sounds like this. So it basically just jumped straight to that, uh, C major 7 chord. So we're starting with the same E major, and then that second chord is the same. And then he just quickly jumps and says, like, kind of make it, we just make it a straight way to that, right to that C major 7 chord. So we have. And then back to the main progression. All right, so it's a you know it's got a really nice acoustic chords to it. It's great with just one acoustic guitar. Um, it's not that hard to sing. It's a it's a pretty good one. All right, so obviously there is a guitar solo that lasts the entire song. It's just kind of a long solo. It's not hard to play. It's just it it lasts for four minutes. So hopefully you guys won't make me do that one, but I will if you request it a lot. All right, I'll see you then. Bye bye.